Hey, it's Filet, and you're watching Filet TV, the ultimate YouTube channel. I'm the cinematographer, just a dude with a camera. All right, today we are going to be looking at my Japanese maple garden and just taking a brief little tour of my nursery. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, it's like the second day of spring, no, the third day of spring, and I happen to be out here pruning a couple of my maple trees, and I thought it would be kind of a good idea just to do a little update since it's... A lot of these trees are just waking up and we're gonna to start to see some early spring colors. So here we get a sagu kaku coral bark with a good, pretty tall, good blood next to it. Those are just getting a little early morning sun. And then I have a big problem with too much sun. So these are all on the front of the back patio today. And as you can see, we have a key, uh, Got my boots, uh, Zeruzo, and there's a bonfire. These are about two seasons old. As you can see, they're doing just great. We have a Vertis over here. Also on the back porch. A little tiny trident maple. And these are all in one gallons and some various little Japanese maples just kicking it. And then I have this rather large geisha gone wild. As you can see, it's just starting to color. So I made sure I brought this in the shade so it could really bust out. Okay, so let's see what else is out here. Here we have a really nice specimen verdis. That looks great here in the sun. It's leafing out nicely. And this is where I have all my protected ones. A couple of young blood goods. I'm Shoujo. And there's an Abigail Rose just coming to life. And here's another large blood good and a fairly large Crimson Queen that's just starting to wake up. And this was a spectacular tree last year. It gave me the most color and I first I thought it was the most boring. Here we have another leaf leaf maple. I think this one was the waterfall maybe. And a couple of various size. Other Japanese maple and another sagu kaku. And over here we have another good sized trident maple. Incidentally, all three of my trident maples were sourced at the same time. And as you can see, we got three different sizes. A little greetings from Rex and Bella. And then over here, we have a nice Thrumpenberg. The Thrumpenberg was rescued from my local nursery. You can see it's been cut off a couple points, but it come back nice. And the Thrumpenberg supposedly is able to handle a lot higher heat. So that's why he's out here completely in the sun by itself. Okay, let's see what's going on behind the yuccas. Getting ready to get some vegetables going in there. Back here, I've got a couple of oak trees that I've started from seedlings. This one has got to be about six years old, and it's actually starting to do pretty great. And this is certified from a nursery. This is a deep leaf oak tree. And that's just leafing out. And then here's everything I've propagated from acorns this past season. As well as a bunch of loquat trees, which we will get into on another video. And over on the side we have where the plumeria garden was. We had a really harsh frost one day and it just Kill the tips of a lot of these, so I haven't even got in here to start working on that yet. Got the 
fruit trees. Some peaches growing there. Let's see if we can see some of the details of these leaves. Down here we have another small geisha gone wild. And back there I've got my Sind Shoujo that hasn't leafed out yet. And a couple of sister, sunny sister vine maples in there as well. Okay, back to the ones on the porch. Looks like cannabis. It's so funny how much this looks like cannabis. Even the way it's growing, it looks like it's getting rid of bud and ain't done. That's it, a little view from the porch. Got a lot of non maple trees out there as well, but we're not gonna look at those today. Anyways, hope you guys like this video. This is just my maple garden tour. Springtime's here, it's time to move the trees around and set up a little display. All right, thanks for watching, Filet TV. Ciao.